Hello, 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 and welcome to episode number 7 of the IDTV Random Nuzlocke Challenge Season 2 Pokemon Gold. We got a cutter in the last episode. Yes, you see Heracross bouncing away to the left. That's our man Flair, uh, our lady Flair, sorry, after Charlotte Flair. We've also still got Rhino the Goldeen, Rikishi the Miltank, APA the Giraffe Rig, and Nikki. The Jinx. I think Nikki, Rikishi, and Flair are going to be the main three that we focus on, though. And we're going to go and do uh, Sprout Tower because we didn't do it before, so let's talk to people. A bell sprout over 100 feet tall. People say it became the centre pillar here. See the pillar shaking. People are training upstairs. Great. Could do with some fights. Built long ago as a place for Pokemon training. Well, we've got a Pokemon we want to train. Only if you reach the top will you obtain an HM. And then we can spend the rest of the game looking at someone who can use it, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. However hard we battle, the tower stands strong. Lazy Noel. Sent out a victory bell. Okay. Let's just use cut on him. Level 3. Lovely jobs. Okay, about to use Gloom. No, we're quite happy. Guys are uh, big on the grass types apparently. That's two uh, grass types so far from Gen 1. And he finishes with Suicune. Uh, yeah, we're not going to mess around with Suicune. Get Rikishi out. Suicune's an absolute beast even at level 3. And I just don't want to risk losing uh, our cutter. Hard, not hard enough, son. Oh, got an item. Berry juice. I assume that turns health or something. Gratitude to honour all Pokemon. Alright, what are you going to honour us with? Ooh, Cloyster. Nice. Just going to keep cutting you down because Flare's got the stats. Got it that time. And Flare grew to level 11. Yeah, it's a really nice all round Pokemon. But he's Entai! Uh, I'm gonna assume I'm okay against a level 3 still. Yeah, still one hit killing. Big chunk of XP. That's the second legendary dog we found in this tower. Uh, finishing with a Sunflora. <laughs> Oh, it's a good job these are all the low levels. Oh, I would have subbed him straight out if he was a high level. Oh, I've got a Pokeball. We've got them coming out of our ears at the moment, but never mind. Oh, Gengar. Don't think you can hurt him. We're going to need to switch in, not Rikishi, but Nikki. Oh, taking out the Gengar. The trio. Just pound it. Alright. We'll use a Powder Storm, a Snow on the Gengar. Lovely job. Finishing with Croconaw. It's uh, one of the starter's second evolved states, yeah. Second one we've seen this uh, gen as well. Cut, cut, cut him. See you later. Oh, nice chunk of XP. Trying to learn Endure. Carboss, nice. What does Carboss do? Raises the speed of one Pokemon. Alright, let's have a look at our stats. 
so speed, 28, 30, 53 bits of high level, 22, 43. And let's just look at that again. It's making sounds inside, it's going to hatch soon. Oh, we might get it this episode. That'll be, uh... Come on, have a legendary or something super exciting in there. Carboss. We're going to use this on Flare. Because Flare's going to be an absolute bad man. Okay. What a bad girl, I suppose. Kind of has a different connotation when you say it like that, though. Alright, here comes a Coyster. Cut our way through that. Ooh, first non uh, one hit kill. Let's see what Horn Attack does. He's oh, protected. Oh, protected again. <laughs> These protections are. Uh, hey, finally a fail. There we go. Got you down. Much more XP for that fight. She's like, even in darkness. Do you think it could be the Flash TM? Sand slash, just cut him down. Ugh. Hitting our accuracy at least cuts a high accuracy move. Big, big chunks of XP at the top of this tower. Let's see how much we trust our Pokemon. Oh, bird type. I think we can risk one move. Yeah, we got it. If it hit, oh, I don't know why I was being so risky with uh, if it hit. That would have been bad news. Thought it we're fine against though. Just a normal type. Did a little bit of damage, but that fear road used uh, fly on. Oh, sorry, spear road used fly on us or something. Could have been in troubles, but doing okay so far. That's 13 now. Oh. Ah, oh, it's our. Uh, should learn to treat your Pokemon better. The way you battle was far too harsh. Pokemon are not tools of war. Ah, looks like we're fighting our uh, mate once more. I only care about strong Pokemon that can win. Really couldn't care less about weak Pokemon. Oh, we didn't get to find him, he used an escape probe. We've got a sunstone. Ah, Bob the developer, hello Vince. This is Bob, how are things, how are your Pokemon doing? I always keep my zapped up in top shape by going to Pokemon Center. Yeah, you told us so that. I missed catching Venomoth again. Maybe I'm not very good at this. Don't know why he's going after Venomoth when he's got a zapped up, but never mind. And our second encounter. <laughs> Shame we've got no bug moves yet. Just gonna have to cut him. Cut, cut, cut. So good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People and Pokemon test their bonds to build a bright future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between your Pokemon and you. Go on then. I'm hoping Heracross is gonna be able to handle you, but. Lazy Max <laughs> sent out seal. Uh, yeah, ice and bug, not a great idea. Let's get Rikishi out. I'm gonna stomp, stomp, stomp you to the end of the night. Down he goes. Alright, we've got Bell Sprout. Yeah, we can go back to Flare for Bell Sprout. Let's go in with the cut. Easy peasy. Uh, about to use Nidoran. Uh, quite happy. So oh, level 10. There we go. All the 
the way down. Oh, very nearly level 14. Your Pokemon should have no problem using this move. Take this Flash HM. You save that, but I bet none of them can use it. <laughs> Flash illuminates even the darkest all places, but to use out of battle, you need the badge from Violet's Gym. Yeah, well, we've already got that. Okay, can anyone use uh, Flash? Somehow doubt it. No, none of them can. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Wild Bayleaf. Baby fainted. Hey, level fourteen. Let's get out of this tower. And we are out. So Now we've got cut. I think we've got an, our first encounter Pokemon of the, the gen. On the road to Route 36. Yeah, I probably could do again to the Poke Center first. Heal my mons up for me, man. something else to get rid of that. Uh, so let's head on south through here. I'm sure there's some bits that we could cut on the way down through this bit. Random venom off. Deal with the flare. Oh, cut was disabled. Gonna have to rely on our horn attack. TM5. It's Fire Blast. <laughs> nice. But it'll think it's raw, so I think loads of people can use it. Can anyone use Comet Punch yet? Since I've got two of them. Flair can use Comet Punch, okay. Let's give Flair Comet Punch. Um, don't need Tackle anymore with Horn Attack in that. Ah, lovely. I think she's a part fighting type, isn't she? Yeah, bug and fighting. So she'll get stab attack on that. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, let's get all the way back through this. <laughs> Wild Puppeter. Ah, oh, Comet Punch is just a normal type attack. I thought it'd be a fighting type. Pointing. Ah. Anywhere Cut up there. Ah. I found a high potion. Nice. Pokey Center. Heal us up while we're here.
way back through this cave again. Wild Machamp. Can't imagine cuts can be too useful, but did enough. Underwhelmed with how much Comet Punch does. Oh, missed. Got him that time. Flag reads about 15. <sighs> Nine Tails, my favourite Pokemon in the game. Oh no, oh no, that's gonna hurt. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> I had visions there. <laughs> Could have been bad. Oh, wild ho ho. Yeah, let's not mess around. Get the key shout for this fight. Good job, Sacred Fire would have hurt a lot. Well, it would have hurt uh, her across a lot. I think it's all the way down to the right now. XP bar. Yeah, Route 33. Is there anywhere around here we could cut? Oh, we're getting some warm berries anyway. What's that guy want? Ah. Probably should uh, register more of the trainers. Good way to uh, train XP. To where we, uh, where we got stuck. So, if we look at our poke gear, Elix Forest Route 34 is on the way. Let's cut through his head in, you'll be in Elix's Forest. And yes, we want to use cut. Shrine in honor of the forest protector. And again, we have been here previously, so we can't catch this. We can, however, get some XP off of it. Day is there. Obviously, we, this is where we caught our Nidder King, but promptly died <laughs> straight away afterwards. <laughs> Didn't sound fake, you Oh, 
Wild well, Nelly King. And that's the one we had. Well, obviously not exactly that one. Hair across his accuracy doesn't seem to be all that. The rest of its stats are. Ah, oh, we've got a King's Rock. What's on does the King's Rock do? May make the foe flinch. It's a cool thing to have. Fun. You should try it too. Go okay, as TM2. Rush trees with headbutt sometimes sleeping Pokemon fall out. But I don't think it's going to be headbutt, is it? No. Frustration. An attack based on lack of loyalty. Anyone can use it? Oh, pretty much the entire team can. I'm not entirely sure. If I want to teach it to him, but there we go. for days. <laughs> Cheeky little machop on the way out. See you later, son. Oh. Our friend Machoke is back. next episode we're going to be starting off with a catch. I hope you come and join me then, but for now, bye bye